oils or essential oils are like cookies is because no matter what, when you start looking at all of the different types of cookies, there are similar ingredients, right? Like we have flour, sugar, butter, eggs. And when we look at essential oils, we have the most common compound in an essential oil is pinene, alpha and beta pinene. The next one is limonene. And then depending on like eucalyptus has what's known as 1,8-C and all, also known as eucalyptol because it was first distinguished in eucalyptus, just like pinene was first distinguished in pine trees. But it's found predominantly in almost every single variety of chemicals. So although we recognize pinene as having a very strong, again, influence on the autonomic nervous system, depending on what else is in that oil is going to affect your system in a unique way. This is the same thing as for cookies. If you have a gluten intolerance or a gluten sensitivity, you are not going to be able to eat cookies with gluten in them. You're going to have to have a cookie, if you want a cookie, that doesn't have flour or gluten flour, right? So, or if you have a sugar problem like I did, you're going to want to eat something that's sugar free or has a sugar alternative to it. So we have to understand what's in our oils, just like you need to understand what's in your cookies or other foods.